Good day everyone and welcome to session recap 11 of July 2016. My name is Nenad and today we will see five setups namely Euro dollar, Pound dollar, Australian dollar, Euro GBP and Australian dollar New Zealand. And as always uh, I'm very happy to tell you that we had a very very successful week at least for this uh, session recaps and also the analysis worked uh, perfectly as a charm and we had a lot of pips really I just I thought I couldn't really imagine that uh, Brexit trading uh, would be so so good so I, actually as I presumed after Brexit the things uh, have been basically the things have been now in line and the trading has been back and everything is working perfectly. As uh, Bob is saying, welcome from a sunny and warm in Orca. Welcome, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. You're <laughs> I'm glad that it's sunny and warm. It's warm here. Darshan is saying, good evening. Excellent. Well, uh, a lot of people here and I always see some new faces that is good and old ones old friends so well let's see today 11th of July and before we begin as always <laughs> a standard risk disclaimer online educational materials are available by the markets Estonia for a global audience take into consideration that information in this session is not suitable for everyone to get a corresponding information on charting conditions and any other detail, you should visit admiralmarketsglobal.com, select your country of residence and contact an appropriate entity. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market by accepting the risk you are also proceeding further with us. Admiral Markets UKLTT takes no responsibility for information accuracy. This is solely my opinion and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for a trade. These are not MUK's opinions and the website in the video is not a .co.uk website but a globalnews.com website. Forest is risky business and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. And of course download Admiral Markets Supreme Edition uh, the, the, by logging into a trader's room. You can also check other markets uh, web trader platform and yeah deposit bonus is no more but it may happen soon so at this point uh, the campaign is over so uh, don't forget that Admiral Markets is officially best MT4 broker and we are ready to proceed with our uh, risk disclaiming concerning our trades so all session recap trades and analysis is done with Camarilla MACD so you need to give price a breathing room and you enter within 15 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. We call it POC or buffer zone. You scaling in. If you scaling in, the chance is that uh, you might actually get uh, some entries that are maybe closer to support or resistance. But as I say, it's very subjective because sometimes the price simply hits our uh, POC and then it doesn't retrace further, it simply rejects and goes towards our target price. Respect your stop loss, okay, always respect your stop loss, never ever stray away from it because stop loss ultimately decides whether your uh, risk is in the line with your risk threshold. Add a spread to your stop loss, if you're trading from ECN account, it's good to add always at least one to five maximum pips to your stop loss. I usually add three. We take only one position, whichever hits first, so it's either positional or alternative trade. First touch of the zone is the most profitable. It's because historical buyers and sellers are aligning with our confluence and that is the fact. It's always how we align the trade and we want to align the trade with the market where buyers and sellers are. Position trades are so-called trend trades, alternative trades are counter trend trades, breakout trades and scalp trade levels are done independently. Usually it can be a second entry. Depending on time and volatility, usage of trailing stop is highly recommended, usually after 20 pips of a profit, not less. These setups are valid for today, tomorrow and sometimes the day after tomorrow. 
Scalp trades should be done at or very close to import and support resistor levels. All these trades are calculated by historical levels and Camarilla. You can add these levels to your system and pay attention to my Twitter update. And here it is, guys. Past week results, 4th of July 2016. Euro dollar plus 80 pips and more because after it hit our target, it proceeded in our direction. Pound dollar good for 70 and more pips. Australian dollar good for 100 and more pips. And it was the trade of the week. Uh, okay, here it is. Slide is now updating. Thanks for reminders. See, Euro dollar 80 pip, pound dollar 70, Australian dollar 100. Euro GBP didn't qualify, but it was good again. We got into a trend, and ODN was 35 pip win. Total pip pool was 285 trade of the week, Australian dollar. But uh, to be honest, uh, I can say that uh, maybe Euro dollar and pound dollar were also that great because they, they, they simply kept dropping after the target was hit. But also, well, uh, just from numbers perspective, Australian dollar was the best, okay? So it was a trade of the week. Now, uh, this was Euro dollar. As you can see, the price rejected perfectly from our sell spot. Well, it had a little bit of drawdown, you can see, but it never hit our stop loss. And then actually the price when to uh, touch the, the target at uh, 1080, but it proceeded down and ultimately fell to touch the psychological 1000. But well, according to targets, it was an 80 pip win. So euro dollar. Pound dollar, uh, well, uh, here uh, actually pound dollar, I traded it today. I made some scalp trade here. Uh, actually, actually on, on pound dollar and it was good uh, basically we had a we had a breakout of uh, 3112 here and as I said it was a very very good trade and the tr now what I do with pound is sell on rally so uh, you just need to actually be careful until uh, Thursday because on Thursday there will be a very important decision. We will see what uh, BOE uh, has come up with, but uh, don't be surprised if we see any surprises from Bank of England. The thing is we might expect some volatile movements uh, on Thursday, so at least up to now pound is definitely sell on rallies. So I don't know. I, I'm not buying the pound now. I know that a lot of people could probably go with a counter trend opportunities like buying into cable, but I'm not buying it. Okay, I'm, I'm selling. Uh, I'm really selling the cable, and uh, until I see that some significant, uh, significant levels have, have been broken since Brexit, then the only that, that will be the only thing when I could actually say, okay, now it's time to buy into dip. So uh, well, yeah, I'm actually. Yeah, new Prime Minister, Bob is saying new Prime Minister, indeed Bob, new Prime Minister, uh, a lot of things going on with England. I, I did a, an article, I'm not sure that you have seen it, the article on Admiral Markets website, the winners and the uh, losers of Brexit. Actually, I might uh, show you. So the thing is that, guys, uh, uh, the point is uh, at, at, at this point we could maybe see some buying into pound. Uh, on Thursday, so I'm not saying anything. I'm just I will be patient, and uh, the thing is that we will have uh, huge movements. I, ex I expect really. I, I'm not I'm not saying that it will be, but that we might see. Okay, guys, because uh, not just for the prime minister, but because uh, there is also uh, a lot of things now at stake with uh, the, the rate hikes. Uh, whether we will see a rate hike or not. Uh, uh, what will be the major politics of BOE, so we need to see that. Uh, that there will be a lot of opportunities. And yeah, Darshan, uh, Guppy shot up over 250, almost 300 pips. And here it is, the article, guys. Winners and losers of Brexit. Okay, this is my opinion, but here I'm not saying now literally that United Kingdom is a loser, okay? Don't don't get me wrong for all of you who voted for Brexit. But at this point, guys, uh, 
just go through this uh, article. At this point, it looks like it is. It, it's not in midterm, maybe in longer term, but now at this point, you see winners: Frankfurt, Paris, Dublin, maybe Edinburgh. Because guys, now uh, the thing is that a lot of uh, European uh, European uh, entities will actually compete to be the next financial hub. Okay, so maybe Luxembourg. I don't know. This is just what I came up with. Maybe I'm wrong, but well. Who knows? This is what I think, judging from some simple facts, uh, yet easily understandable facts. So we might see some some uh, really interesting stuff uh, regarding uh, UK. UK will be fine, of course. It's a major economical power. It's uh, it's it's one of the of the, the strongest uh, force in the world. So I'm not scared really for the future of UK. Uh, but but just at this point. Uh, at this point, it's not that bright, but in the mid, mid to long term, it, it can be bright. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of comments now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that is it. Now we can actually proceed to Australian dollar. Australian dollar seventy six eighty. Uh, here we had a huge, huge, huge buy on seventy four forty. Uh, you see, guys. Sometimes when you see a dip like this, it 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 means that the move will be even stronger. And the thing is that you you can always always uh, uh, watch Australian dollar as a, as a good pair to trade when there is actually uh, some sort of a mini range, especially now because this is positive for uh, Australian dollar. Uh, there were elections actually, and uh, the thing is that I, I already told you that it would be positive in my opinion, and uh, yeah, it was definitely positive. It's been positive, and Australian dollar now could go up. That is one of the reasons uh, why I have made Australian dollar New Zealand uh, uh, trade today. Okay, so we will see what will happen, but uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, one of the things what I know is I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that U.S. Fed will not hike now and probably it won't happen now. Uh, and for Australian dollar, guys, uh, there there have been a lot of positive, positive, uh, positive news. And uh, the parliament uh, will be up soon. And uh, okay, so, so Australian dollar is now up. Commodity currency, K, it goes along with copper, and uh, well, I think that we will have a good, good, good setup. So this was uh, past week Australian dollar, and finally Euro GBP. Uh, well, uh, Euro GBP unfortunately uh, didn't hit our POC spot for buying, but as you can see, it it was a bit of. Uh, it went uh, with a flow, so I expected that it will be uptrend, and it was an uptrend. And you see, it was a bit, 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 uh, well, a bit of a movement on Euro GBP. Now, just unfortunately, it didn't hit our uh, POC, but it's, it's actually, it was a good. So even though if you went with your own system, uh, that I suppose you did, then you could actually uh, you could have uh, you could have gone long here. You could have also gone long here. Uh, you could have uh, also waited for retracements. Use this double bottom for another long. Uh, this is actually now this looks like a pennant. So Euro GBP is still still uh, uh, bullish. Okay, it's still bullish. Uh, in as I said, in Australia, liberals now are in government, and uh, because liberals are in government now, I think that is one of the reasons why Australian dollar went went up. Okay, yeah, these are all set, all setups, and now we will go to new setups. So very very good previous session recap, 285 pip possible. And uh, okay, guys, now let's see what will happen. But I I think that uh, euro dollar could go a little bit up then it 
could be possibly sold. So our next level, you know, euro dollar, as I was saying, it was not that that good to trade, really. It was a bit of, I can say, uh, rangy. And I don't like when price is ranging. I prefer to see a clear movement, not just range. So because of that, we actually, we, we had a good movement the previous week on euro dollar. As I said, that, that was a good movement. But now, last couple of days, it was not so good. It was a bit slow. But you see, Euro dollar has been bought from 10, 0, 0. So I think that it could go up. But I don't have a buying spot. I, I, I would really prefer to sell. So where I would sell is around 11.20, 11.50 with a stop loss. Uh, there, this is the stop loss exactly. So like 30, 35 people for stop loss with targets to 10, 20 and 0, 9, 80. The thing is that uh, Deutsche Bank uh, could see some problems also. Demography in European Union is also a problem and they don't have uh, so many loans as they had in the past and also that uh, has an impact on their credits and uh, I think that uh, all of that happening could really see some weakness in Euro, but uh, I know that this is, I'm speaking now from strictly fundamental facts, but uh, if you see the chart, I will show the chart in a second, you, you can also see that it's, it's, it's a bit uh, bearish, okay? Although we see that the price has indeed made a nice, uh, retracement, I still see it as a bearish, simply because guys, this, don't, this doesn't look promising to me. So unless I see this uh, double top, let's say, is broken to the upside, uh, I wouldn't uh, bet on long trades, really. Uh, you need to take Brexit candles in in your analysis guys and this this was brexit movement so now guys if you if you are if you're watching uh, if you're watching uh, this chart if you open a daily chart you guys this is the major candle you see this daily candle on 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 a, on a euro dollar chart so you see uh, this daily candle is effectively master candle okay so what does master candle mean it means that uh, until this master candle support and resistance, or, or, or resistance, this is resistance, this is support, if uh, those important levels are not taken out, we cannot say that this is indeed a huge downtrend and that is indeed a huge uptrend. Because in between, the price is retracing, okay? So, yes, it's bearish, but you see, guys, you always need a retracement to sell into, right? Because uh, it, it would be a nonsense that you try to sell the bottom here. Why would you sell the bottom when you can sell it higher? So, from trader's perspective, definitely this is a trend line here. And... Uh, Again, you see, guys, it's, well, it's like 10, 10, 0, 5, 10, 0, 6. And here, the top of this candle is actually 10, 20. So, you see this. Watch this. This was a so-called bearish order block. And here, it was a retest and a drop. So, I'm assuming that we could see some selling here. So we see a confluence. The confluence is, well, if you, if you take out this, okay, this uh, Fibonacci, and you place Fibonacci on this important resistance here, and let's use the whole swing, you can see that actually uh, 78 0.6 is like 15 pips away. So this is indeed a zone to sell into. There is a trend line 
historical selling, bearish order block, and it's close to 78.6. Also, 61.8 is here. So what I think is that this zone could be good to sell into. Yes, on four-hour time frame, uh, this is actually not a... It is like T89, but it, it, it actually needs to hit. This is, guys, T89, this candle. This candle is T89. So if you're watching Mario for T89, this is T89, you see? Scholastic example, guys, of a T89. Here it is. And uh, Martin is asking, is Italy experiencing man crunch today? Saw some blogs about it. Maybe. It may be, but I'm not uh, full into it. Uh, I didn't uh, watch uh, the Italian news, and maybe there are some bank runs. I wouldn't be surprised. But as you can see, there is not a huge impact on movement. Uh, on daily one, Nathan is saying, we see engulfing candle. Yeah, daily candle, actually, uh, this is not engulfing. This is, again, this is a master candle on daily, you see? This is engulfing candle, this one. And this one is also, well, let's say we can say that there is engulfer. But watch this. This is now a master candle here. So this is the, the that is why I'm saying this is for me very important. This resistance and this support. This resistance and this support, actually, here. Because this is a spinning top, right? It's a, it's a form of a spinning top add support, so the price could go either up or down. It's indecisive at this point, but uh, I, would, I would really look to sell at 1020. Yes, Nathan, we define a master candle as mother plus four candles, but let's say just for uh, how can we define the candle. Uh, the most important support and resistance candle, okay? A true master candle will have four candles inside it, indeed. But uh, let's say that we can say that this is a master candle because it clearly defines support and resistance. So yes, you're right. Judging from trader's perspective, how we trade master candle, it's mother candle plus four candle. But judging from analysis perspective, we can say that these two levels at this point, interim, are most important ones. So, most important interim support and resistance is defined by this candle. Clearly, it, it says, it, it, it's very logical. You see, there is a top, it, 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 you can also place a trend line, and here there is a down, there is an, uh, a drop, a, uh, basically a bottom, that goes perfectly with L3 uh, weekly pivot point. These are weekly Camarilla pivots. Yeah, rejection on both ends. Because of that, you need we need to say that this is most important levels of resistance and this is the most important level of support at this point interim, okay? And it's good for day trading, yeah. So that is what I think about euro dollar. I would look to sell it, okay? Pound dollar downtrend on pound dollar actually pound dollar is of course it's in downtrend because of the big range now of the pound crosses you need to lower your risk okay lower your risk recommended risk 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 why a lot of traders and now why many traders are not successful long term because they think that they can trade always the same way. Well, guys, if you see that some major event has happened, like Brexit, and you know that pound basket has a huge range, and you know that pound dollar has been making 200, 300 pip day trade, uh, day trades, like ATR for the last couple of days, then why would you really risk as you have always risked so far. You should re reduce the risk. Because if you're making a risk with uh, 60, 70 pip, of course that you would reduce your risk. I mean, the risk will be the same, but your lot size will be reduced 
properly. So you cannot trade always the same way. Short, short, and short. Yes, but when? Of course, when you see a pullback or a breakout opportunity. You cannot just short pound dollar because there was a Brexit. And you do it as you did before. No, just slightly lower your risk and go with a trade. Yes, we need, you definitely, guys, need to, uh, to adjust your uh, risk, to adjust your stops and your uh, overall exposure, especially to pound crosses because pound goes in a basket. Pound yen up, pound dollar up, pound dollar down, pound yen more down. So a lot of, lot of, uh, there, there is a lot of management in your trades. It's not just follow the system, follow Nenad, uh, follow his analysis, he's always right. Yes, it's good, but you need to watch for the risk because sometimes the price can spike us and then proceed in our direction. And I really hate when, when it happens. Now, huge risk on Thursday. There will be some important events like uh, BOE announcements. And uh, stay tuned. So this trade should be definitely, this trade, what I will show, should be executed until uh, early Wednesday. So this is pound dollar. And here it is. So let's use for for our chart, I will put ATR of 14. So guys, you see, uh, even ATR on last 14 days shows that is showing that the price has been trapped. So these are major levels on the pound at this point. Okay, you see there is also a rectangle consolidation here. So what should we do with the pound? Obviously, guys, here there would be because there was no a retest of this low. I assume that uh, 2790 could be good for longs. So 2790 is a long. Let me let me write it down. So uh, this is alternative trade. Alternative by 12790. Stop loss 127.50 and target price is, so this is alternative trade, guys. Yes, I think that it could be a double bottom because uh, from four hour perspective, guys, you can just put a line here, see, and we have a line here. What does it say, it say to you? See here. So this is the zone where buyers are. You see? Remember the first lesson in price action trading school. So this is how we define it. Watch this, guys. As soon as the pair enters this zone, we see buyers here. But, well, they are stopped short because here we see sellers. And this is now major spot. So what should we do? If we see a drop, I, ex I expect this could be a double bottom. If, we, if the price goes more to the downside, well, then we can do nothing. But at least from a trading perspective, I reckon that, they, that there are buyers down there. Watch this. A dip, buyers. Dip more down, buyers. Dip, buyers. Dip, buyers. A bigger dip down and buyers. So this would be a bigger dip down and buyers probably, right? So there is a logic in that. So, yeah, I would go to look and sell and, and buy over there. But now I'm not sure whether the pound is... It's, it's, it's a bit of... I can say it's not illogical, but guys, we are now in a selling zone. 
but it, it's too much for me ups and downs in this rectangle so I'm clear with L3 long but I am not clear where to sell so if you want to see where to sell you definitely guys need to uh, count that the pound could maybe spike above these levels if we really see now moment buyers because of that we need to put Fibonacci here and there and this is now where I would sell a good confluence here around 3250 so that is where I would sell so I'm not selling here, I'm not selling there, I would wait for this to break. If it doesn't break and give us a sell trade, then guys it should dip down, maybe I hope towards L3, and then I guess it would bounce. So yeah, let's see whether this will be a dip or a rip. So, 34.50. Yeah, and, and TP for this one is actually 300. And now positional trade. Sell. One thirty two fifty. And now guys, stop loss is a bit higher here. So guys, uh, that is why I say recommended risk. This double top here should give us a stop loss. Thirty three guys fifty is a stop loss and TP is let's say this one towards that one but let's say that this is TP3 TP1 is thirty one eighty TP2 is 3080 and this is TP3 so the thing is that uh, this uh, let 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 it uh, not uh, 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 scare you because it doesn't matter uh, that, that your stop is 100 or 30 pips the point is risk so even if you're risking 100 pips, you, this is actually your real risk. 0 0.8 to 0 point, 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 percent of account. So when someone tells you, "Oh, I lost 100 pips," guys, on my account, one of my or one one of my accounts, I have like minus 200 pips. And my account is 40% positive. That's because I'm always trading with a low risk. And some big trades, like, uh, I don't know, it was, there is an older account. It's not a new account. But let's say that if I may make two trades with minus 100 stop loss, it doesn't happen always, but it, it happens once or twice per year that I lose that I can risk hundred and, and more pips the point is it's just the pips because my risk is not higher than this one so with hundred pips of a stop loss even if it's taken out you can easily recover it just by slightly raising the risk on your next trade towards let's say 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 so it doesn't matter the stop loss that's the point 
if your risk is too small, you can risk a lot. 10,000 euro account, you can risk 3% and that is 300 pips, guys. Well, the point is, it's all about the risk. So, let, let it not scare you. 100 pip is actually this. This is your risk. So, if you are eager to make this trade, well, uh, just don't make it on Thursday and do not think that uh, Thursday setup will be, that this will be valid for Thursday. Everything can happen. We should be ready for surprises. Okay? Australian dollar. 74.70 buy position. Stop 74.30, 76.20. Alternative sell 7640, 7670, and 7430. So again, guys, the point is that you want to trade with a low risk. If you see that there is some important news, you just need to reduce your risk threshold. Instead of going with 1%, 2% of a risk, you go with 0.8. It's good because if you lose the trade, you will make it up for next trade that you can use a little bigger risk. Because, guys, we all know that, right, that uh, pound is sold on rallies. So next rally where we think it should stop, we could sell into. And adding, let's say, instead of 0 0.5, we can add 1% of risk. And chances that it will, it will uh, drop. Because, guys, here, you see, guys, all of this will be selling into rallies. I'm not expecting that a uh, four-hour candle simply makes a double top. It would be very strange if it happens. So here, this will all be the chance for us to sell into, right? Because now there are orders here, okay, order blocks here. Now, uh, as you can see, Australian dollar, 74.70, 74.70 Australian dollar. Here it is, Australian dollar, 74.70, and uh, very, 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 uh, I can say, uh, obvious level here. Uh, guys, we see a failed M. See, this, is, this was potential M. This was double bottom here. And the price spied heavily from this level. So I'm expecting if it drops down there, we could see another buy. And I think it will be. So it's not that far. It's like only uh, 70 pip of a pullback. And if we see a pullback, we could possibly buy into it. Also here, guys, 76.40. Yeah, I will, let me just zoom up a bit. Okay, Australian dollar. Okay, let me show you full screen. Ah, here it is. See? 74, 70, 76, 40. 76, 40 is actually the spot where we should see some selling. Clear, clearly close to H4. Very, very, it's very high because it's up ATR 14 projection high. So I'm assuming that this will be good for new selling. So these are setups. Let's see if we will have it. So I'm looking to either buy or sell. Daily Camarilla, well, daily pivots, we need to actually see. The question is, no, these are weekly pivots, and daily pivots are here. Okay, and yes, on daily pivot point, this was a possible long, but you see, it's now retracing. So I want to see a deeper retracement. Actually, what I use for four hour, I usually use weekly pivot points. And uh, Euro GBP, 
I will buy into Euro GBP, 83.75, 83.40 stop, 85 is target. So why Euro GBP, 83.75? Because guys, uh, this EMA will go up slightly and if the pair retraces, it should, this could be a good confluence because even if you put Fibonacci here, you see guys, it's a uh, 61.8 EMA will go here. We have double bottom here. You see double bottom. So if we see a pullback, this should be a good no-brainer buy trade. I am waiting for this if it happens. Could be a good, good, good risk to reward. And finally, Australian dollar New Zealand is in downtrend. But because uh, liberals are now in government, uh, well, uh, it should be positive for Australian dollar, 1.0470 sell, uh, 0.500 stop, 0.4 is TP, but we could also see a buy trade soon here. So Australian dollar, New Zealand, we could see some buying very soon. Let me open it. So you see, it's going up, this four hour candle is strong. So I think that the, this level here actually could be good for longs. You see a lot of historical longs. Watch this. Even here, you see. So I'm, I think that this could be another long if it drops here. So watch for this. And of course, we could see some selling also, double, uh, previous double bottom. So this is a good level to watch for. Yeah, it was just slight, I went slightly lower, 70. But definitely this is a good level to watch for because we can also see selling here. So this is sell, this is buy. And now your questions, guys. I will go through slides, of, of course. Pound yen, well, pound yen went a bit higher today. It went uh, a lot of pips to the upside. And actually, from one hour perspective, guys, you see, it went from this spot towards 250 pips. So I assume that it might start to sell off soon if it doesn't break this level. If it breaks this level, there is a chance that it will reach this zone here. And that is a time where we could see for a sell. So at this point, this looks like selling has started, but uh, this candle should be bearish in order to actually uh, give the price needed momentum for some retracement. Whatever happens, in my opinion, this is a way too high to go long. Because uh, I would really love to see a retracement, at least here, as a form of a retest. But just buying from this spot, it's illogical to me. I wouldn't do it. So I would like to see a rejection then buy or either a sell. Dollar yen. See, equities up, S&P 500 was up. Equities were very, very bullish. And here on one hour chart, this is a huge movement. On four hour chart, now also pound yen could be a possible short because it's, it's going very close to 88.6. So we might see some selling at this point on dollar yen. Here, if it, so this is the zone for possible sales. So 
ideally the price should be left here for bulls for bears because then it might drop to here making inverted head and shoulders for a new buy so this is dollar again dollar cad uh, Derek, uh, did you see my analysis for do dollar CAD? I did it today, and there was 70, 80 pip possible on uh, Admiral Markets website. I hope that you saw my dollar CAD analysis, and I never changed anything from this. This was it. We saw a dip, then it went up. Yeah, this was the trade. It was a dip and it spiked up. So yeah, Dollar Cat gave us some nice pips uh, in early trades. New Zealand dollar. Here it is. New Zealand dollar. Well, this looks bullish. You see, looking bullish indeed. But here, if you place a trend line, you would actually like to see some retracement. This could be a good zone to go along, 71.66, okay? See? So this is New Zealand dollar. Now, guys, uh, uh, Darshan is saying got crazy support at 12. Uh, which pair, Darshan? I will go through the slides so you can snapshot it. Euro dollar? Pound dollar? Australian dollar? Euro GBP, Australian dollar, New Zealand, and that was it. Now, uh, yeah, uh, everything uh, what you want to ask me, or if you miss some, you just send me an email, no problem. And uh, yeah, that was it. Euro Audi, and then gold. Okay. Sell on rallies, Euro Audi. Definitely sell on rallies. So your primary. You should watch it, this one. This could be your possible sell here. So yeah, Euro dollar is sell on rallies indeed. Uh, let me check New Zealand. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is 0365. I will change it. Yeah, Australian dollar New Zealand is 10365. Thanks. Uh, yeah, this is TP. And this is top loss here. Yeah. So you see Euro Audi is actually a resistance here. So this is resistance. See, this is resistance. Weekly. Yeah, but weekly shows something else. This looks like a bullish pennant or a triangle, you see? It's sideways 
like but it looks a bit bullish so that is why I'm saying guys pay attention you see it's it yeah it could spike indeed from this spot on weekly this is support indeed yeah but on four hour it's resistance so yeah I'm not sure I, I would at least for scalp trades small trades this resistance could be good because you see it's it's rejecting at this point and there was some historical selling and yeah buying opportunities could happen after the break of this high here towards H4 yeah New Zealand dollar I already explained it so I would look into a possible dip here and buy trade and now gold and silver gold is bullish at this point but it's facing resistance here selling from resistance but it's bullish generally speaking so yeah this is like buying into dips here buying into dips silver A ranging market possible head and shoulders inverted so this could be if it drops here possible inverted head and shoulders that will be bullish yeah we might see a correction but not far from this one because this could be an early setup for an inverted head and shoulders pattern and euro -cad. nothing particularly I don't see whipsaw movement watch this it's a bit bullish but also it could be sold into you see it was historical sell because th those candles to the left are keeping it from advance double check uh, your uh, double check Australian dollar New Zealand for buy setup yeah it's okay 365 470 target 400 zero, zero. and this is a sell setup 35 to 40 pip of a stop loss so yeah everything is fine okay guys so I don't see any questions do you have any other question if we don't see a question then I can assume everything is clear I can wish you a great trading week and a lot of pips and to be very safe and don't trade on Thursday yeah we don't see questions thanks thanks everyone and uh, I will talk to you soon. Ah, dollar cat. Okay, we have guys. We have one uh, uh, quick question for dollar cat. Uh, dollar cat definitely respected the analysis, and for next dollar cat analysis, guys, stay tuned because I already did a dollar cat analysis, and I posted it on Admiral Markets website here. I hope that you traded this because this setup gave you a lot of pips today. I need to see where from next because targets were hit. Thank you and talk to you soon. Expect new analysis tomorrow. Cheers everyone.